We're very pleased to be joined today by two presenters. So we have Jimmy Stavropoulos, who is the Director of Sales at Agencia Global, and Christine Gallup, who is an Account Executive at Delta Airlines. And with that, I'll hand things over to Christine to start us off. So take it away. Thank you, Eilish. So my name is Christine Gallup, as Eilish mentioned. For those of you who have never uh, met me or spoken to me, I am based in Montreal and I've been with Delta for 24 years. I'm going to give you a brief overview of um, JV news and updates as I represent Delta, Air France, KLM and Virgin Atlantic. So let's get this started. So as many of you know, Delta has a very powerful um, domestic network with many different hubs, which we have invested in over the last decade. So we've invested over uh, $12 billion in airport facilities, whether it be in LA, in Seattle, and then on the East Coast with Boston and JFK, which have undergone really major changes not only to our Sky Clubs, but the, the terminals themselves for those ha that had the opportunity to visit them recently. Completely different airport, um, very seamless, very easy to get around, um, and especially for connecting passengers. Um, effective May 1st, we've gone back to um, boarding by numbers. For, for those of you who have been in the industry for a long time, uh, we used to board by numbers a long time ago, um, and then um, so it was it was it was changed recently to go back to uh, the boarding zones. So we have eight boarding zones, um, starting with um, zone number one for first class passengers, then premium select passengers and diamond med medallion members for zone two. Um, Comfort plus passengers will be boarding in zone three. Sky Priority in Zone 4, and then Main Cabin Passengers will be Zones 5 to 7, followed by Basic Economy in Zone number 8. So really, um, a lot of passengers were not familiar with the process beforehand, and I think this is going to make um, a really stressful time for boarding really easy and simple for our passengers now. And um, so any feedback, any... Um, you know, um, comments that you have, pl please feel free to um, to let us know. Uh, we continue to um, invest in um, our fleet. So it's very important for us to be fuel efficient, to have the best in class fleet, um, to provide modern aircrafts and um, really industry leading onboard products and services. So you'll see here uh, projected air, aircraft count uh, for the, the years to come, um, really focusing on long haul uh, wide body fleet and also uh, narrow body. Um, the next slide is just uh, to give you a brief overview of the cabins, which I'm sure you already are familiar with, starting with Delta One all the way to the main cabin. Um, so starting with Delta One, um, really a, a, a true, um, you know, amazing experience starting with um, club access and sky priority, of course, um, uh, flatbed seats with aisle access on most flights, um, you know, the outlets on every seat, the blanket and pillows, the Delta Studio um, on, on every seat with the noise canceling headsets and uh, really delicious curated meals by some renowned, renowned chefs. Um, I'm not sure if you've heard, but we are starting with new um, Delta One amenity kits, which are going to be uh, designed by Missoni. Um, they're starting off with only, uh, will only be available mid-July to all flights to and from Italy and Paris, and then will be launched uh, worldwide in September. Um, this also coincides with uh, the opening of our first Delta One Lounge at JFK Airport, which actually opened yesterday. So this is a de dedicated uh, lounge only for Delta One passengers. Then we have, um, sorry about that. Yeah, 
So then we have uh, the premium select. So premium select is in between uh, Delta one and um, the economy class will come for plus and then the economy class. Um, really a, a, a great product um, when you think about the price point and the, the service that you have on board, the seats that you have, the, you know, dedicated check-in uh, security lanes, um, like I said, more leg room on those comfortable seats. Um, again, even in premium select, you'll have access to uh, pillow, noise canceling headsets, and an amenity kit um, that amenity key, amenity, ugh, sorry, amenity kit that is designed by someone somewhere. I'm not sure if you're familiar with those. They're um, they're handmade by um, by people in Mexico, a, a real great team of people, and they're really um, eco friendly uh, amenity kits. Uh, we'll follow with, um, so JFKLA is a really big, um, important um, transcontinental route for us. And we've um, extended the Delta Premium Select on some of those flights right now. Um, and it'll be launched uh, on more of our flights starting in September, September 10th, I believe. Yes. So again, those those long haul flights, those long, you know, JFK uh, LA flights can be um, tiring for our, for our corporate customers. So we really wanted to extend that product to them as well. Then we'll have the um, first class, which is on our domestic network. Um, yeah, perfect here. So we'll have, again, accelerated, accelerated check-in, security, baggage handling, a lot more leg room uh, compared to the Comfort Plus seats. Um, again, Delta Studio, um, really great product, uh, complimentary Starbucks coffee, and again, built-in outlets on every seat. Then we have... Um, the Delta Comfort Plus, which is again, a great product for those uh, passengers traveling, um, you know, for business, um, you know, with a lot of our corporates having restrictions on, um, you know, the premium product, this is a, a, a great added value to have, to have a comfortable seat, to be able to work uh, while you get to your destination. Um, like I mentioned before, a lot of a lot of money was was uh, spent to renovate, upgrade, extend our Delta Sky Clubs across the U.S. Um, you know, we had a, a really busy time um, of the year after the pandemic, and our Sky Clubs were very crowded. Um, and so, this is the reason why we've spent a lot of money expanding, um, adding more room to the Sky Clubs to allow more more people to be able to access them. The free Wi-Fi. So, um, I encourage you all to tell your travelers about this great product. So, the free Wi-Fi is really complimentary uh, all across the U.S. on all uh, Delta mainline flights, as long as you are a SkyMiles member. So, for those travelers that have not yet uh, completed their application for SkyMiles, please encourage them to do so. Um, we also expect that, um, you know, the international routes will come in 2025. So, this is going to be great, great product for um, everyone traveling on Delta. The Delta flight app. So we've we've just launched recently in the spring um, the Delta Fly uh, the Fly Delta 6.0, which has uh, new added innovations. Um, really great great application. Um, you know you'll be able to. Um, see your boarding pass, your flight status, you get notification on any changes that, that impact your journey. So whether your gate changes, your seat changes, your zone, anything that, that involves your journey, uh, you'll be notified. Um, also, if your flight is affected by a disruption, um, then you'll be uh, prompted to see a view of the actions that require, that are required to, um, you know, take another flight or change your, your, your destination or change your routing, anything that we can do to assist you 
Also, you'll have a, a real-time indicator of um, the volume in the Sky Club. So that comes in handy, especially in a busy airport like New York or in Atlanta. Um, let's talk about Air France and KLM now. So I included this slide uh, and this presentation will be shared with you so that you can see uh, that across the board, we are aligning all of our products. We want um, Delta, Air France, KLM and Virgin to be a seamless journey for all of our passengers. This is the Air France KLM North American Gateway. Um, I, I find this slide very nice because you get a visual of of everywhere that um, the JV operates um, and, you know, whether it's to Paris or to Amsterdam, I really feel that this um, network that we have, the joint venture, this really award-winning um, alliance that we have really covers everywhere. Um, and then the domestic Delta network added on to that, we can really get our passengers to where they need to go. We offer nine daily flights from New York to Paris, um, really convenient um, as we also offer a morning flight for those uh, business travelers that need to be there for the evening. Um, and then again, from Los Angeles to Paris um, with the combination of Delta and Air France, we offer uh, five flights a day to Paris. With our uh, Paris hub, we really have uh, a great connectivity to India from North America. And with the added um, uh, hub in London, which is also going to increase our capacity to get to India, um, it really truly important market as, um, you know, approximately 75% um, of our India corporate markets are in the top three, Bangalore, Delhi, and Mumbai, which is, three of the destinations where we offer um, extensive service. Some Air France um, newly added routes for the, the, the 2024 schedule. So we have Italy, Greece, Norway, and the UAE. And then we have new service also from the US, which started in May. Um, with Raleigh, Phoenix, Denver, and then some service that will resume uh, from Minneapolis as well on um, <clears throat> some routes, uh, de sorry, Denver and Paris, Denver to Paris and Minneapolis to Paris. We have also an extensive uh, French domestic network for a lot of our passengers that are traveling beyond Paris, whether it's with Air France or with Air France Hop or by train. So last but not least, KLM was our um, last uh, airline partner to introduce the, um, the premium comfort class. It's now available from, uh, you know, some destinations such as Atlanta, Chicago, Las Vegas, LA, JFK, San Francisco, Toronto, and Mexico. Um, more destinations to come as they roll out the, the premium cabin. And last but not least, Virgin Atlantic. So Virgin Atlantic has a really global network uh, with Edinburgh, Manchester, and London as their hubs. They really have an extensive uh, reach to North America and the Caribbean, but also to um, South Africa, the Middle East. Um, really um, a, a great airline if you've had the chance to um, fly with Virgin. If not, then you will mostly, uh, most of you have probably heard, but we have started, uh, we are going to start new service from Toronto into London um, starting uh, March 30th of 2025, but the flight's already available in the system for sale. So more information to come, um, you know, as, as the months go by, we'll have more information as to, um, the aircraft, I think for now, they've uh, announced that it'll be an Airbus 330-900neo. Um, again, the same the same configuration. So we have the upper class, which is the equivalent to our Delta One. We have the premium. Then we have economy delight and then classic and light seats. So really 
um, amazing product. We have, we're so excited to be able to have a Virgin Atlantic fly into Canada. They had tried it once before, I believe about 10 years ago. It was not a successful route. So let's work on um, selling that route together. And uh, also a, a great uh, connection for beyond destinations uh, such as India. With uh, Delta and Virgin Atlantic, we have three um, three flights a day between London and uh, Los Angeles. Uh, a, a you know great uh, lounge again in LA and in um, in London. So our business class travelers will be able to benefit from um, you know great facilities in both of those airports. And also between New York and London, again, nine daily flights between JFK and London with the same um, configuration of four cabins. And um, so if you have any questions, please um, feel free. There are a couple questions. So here's one. Um, will connector flights within Canada be available for the Virgin Atlantic YYZ to London? Yes, that's one of the questions. That's one of the first questions that we asked, and we're still waiting for an answer. So, as soon as we do have uh, information, we'll we'll be sure to share that with you. Um, I mean, especially for for me here in Montreal, I have a lot of uh, a lot of opportunities for passengers that would like to connect in Toronto, and it's very difficult with, uh, as you know, no flights being offered with WestJet. So, we'll see if we can um, manage some kind of partnership with someone else that will be able to get us to that flight. Great, and then a question from Anne here. Who do I deal with when I want to book groups from Canada to Europe? Um, so from Canada to Europe, um, there there is a, uh, depending on if you wanna book Air France directly, there's a form online that you can use. If not, there's a phone number for groups, depending on, um, you know, if you're a contracted agency or not, um, there are toll-free numbers that you can call to uh, reach our groups department. That that book actually um, JV groups, so they'll be they would be able to assist you with Delta, but as well as Air France and KLM. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining, and have a great rest of your day, everyone.